Hello, my dears. How are you today? I hope you're having a fine day. Well, Grandma wants to read you another story. This one is called Pooh's First Day of School. Do you like Winnie the Pooh stories? There's Pooh with his friends and Christopher Robin. School is starting, school is starting, cried Tigger. Come on, don't be late. School, asked Winnie the Pooh, what are you talking about? Christopher Robin has a new backpack and lunchbox and he is getting ready for school. We better get ready too. Oh, Tigger, said Pooh, school is for children, not for fluff and stuffing like us. Who doesn't think school is the place for him? What do you mean not for us? asked Tigger. Tiggers love to go to school. Piglets don't love school, said Piglet thoughtfully. At least I don't think we do. You're right, Piglet, said Eeyore. This schooling business, pencils and whatnot, it's overrated if you ask me. I think it sounds great, cried little Roo. Can I go too? Come along, Roo, said Pooh. We'll all go see Christopher Robin. Maybe he can tell us more about it. Tigger was the first to bound through Christopher Robin's door. Okay, where's the school, he asked. It's about a mile away, said Christopher Robin. The school bus will come tomorrow morning to take me there. A mile? asked Piglet, pulling his ear. It's not here in the hundred acre wood, asked Tigger. If you have to go that far from home, I'm sure school is not a good thing for Piglets, said Piglet. We don't have the brains for it anyway, said Pooh. You'd all like school, said Christopher Robin. I'm sure you would. Wait right here a minute and I'll make a classroom just for us. See, Christopher Robin's friends aren't so sure about school. Imagine our very own school, said Pooh. I wonder if we're up to it. Can we bounce in school, asked Roo. Of course you can, little buddy, said Tigger. School's the bounciest place there is. There is no bouncing in school, said Eeyore decisively. I think Eeyore knows. None, asked Tigger. School is work. No time for fun, said Eeyore. Not even a little, asked Tigger. His shoulders drooped. Eeyore shook his head knowingly. Oh, said Tigger in a very small voice for a Tigger. Maybe Tiggers don't like school after all. He and Piglet were about to tiptoe away when Christopher Robin called out, time for school to begin. Oh dear, said Piglet. Christopher Robin set up a table and around it he put chairs, just the right size for poos and piglets. We always sing a song first, said Christopher Robin as they gathered around. Good morning to Tigger, good morning to Roo. Welcome all children, good morning to you. Now, everyone join in. This is fun, Piglet, don't you think, whispered Pooh. Shh, said Piglet. Good morning, they all sang. If it is a good morning, said Eeyore, which I doubt. Or Eeyore, he always seems to be grumpy or negative. Well, the first morning at school can be hard, said Christopher Robin. But I've met my new teacher and I know she's really nice. And I know two friends who will be in my class. It is friendly to spend your days with friends, said Piglet. 
And we learn things in school too, said Christopher Robin. That may be okay for you, said Pooh, but we're nothing but stuffing. Do you really think a little schooling will improve us? Sure, said Christopher Robin. You can learn to write your ABCs. It's fun. Christopher Robin handed out paper and crayons. Let's all draw pictures of ourselves. What does that have to do with ABCs? asked Tigger. The best letters of the alphabet are the letters in our own names, said Christopher Robin. When our pictures are finished, we can write our names on them. I think that's a good idea. Do you like to draw pictures of yourself and write your name on your picture? Who chewed the end of his purple crayon? Who? P-O-O-H. He printed slowly. Very nice, cried Christopher Robin. P-T tried Piglet, whose name was really quite complicated. Eeyore, who only knew the letter A, wrote A under his picture. Don't know when I've had so much fun, he said proudly. Roo made some quotation marks. Tigger made a squiggle. Everyone did a fine job. They all had fun and it didn't matter how many letters they could write. Counting is easy too, said Christopher Robin. Who, let's see how high you can stack these blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pooh counted. It was turning into a lovely tower. But when Tigger's sea towers, they think, Towers are for bouncing. And guess what? Crash! Down went the blocks. Oh, sighed Pooh. Tigger, said Christopher Robin sternly. Sorry, said Tigger. All these ABCs and one, two, threes are fine. But what about fun? What good is a place if you can't even bounce in it? It's true, you can't bounce when your teacher is talking, said Christopher Robin. But my school has a playground, and we get to go outside and play nearly every day. That's the fun thing about schools. They have nice playgrounds to play. A real playground, asked Ruth. Yes, said Christopher Robin, a real playground with slides and swings and everything. I knew Tigger's love school, cried Tigger. But Pooh, whose tummy was beginning to feel a bit rumbly, was worried about something else. What do you think Pooh was worried about? I hope you're allowed to eat at school, he said. Oh, yes, said Christopher Robin. That's what my new lunchbox is for. I'm going to bring a peanut butter and honey sandwich, a banana and milk. Mmm, sighed Pooh wistfully. And then Christopher Robin, who knew his friend very well, said, why don't we have a little snack right now? He set out a large pot of honey and everyone had a lick. Christopher Robin, I hope your new teacher is as nice as you are, said Piglet. Yes, agreed Pooh. Can we play again tomorrow? Please, cried all the rest. Of course, said Christopher Robin. We'll play every day, as soon as I'm home from school. So, you like going to school too? School can be fun. 
the first day can be a little bit scary because it's something new. But school can be lots of fun, learning things and playing and having a good time. Well, I hope you like that story. And I hope you know that grandma loves you. And I'll come back and tell you the story again later. Bye.